Unaitwa nani? Stella Maris Mutinda. Damaris. Stella Maris. Stella Maris. Mm. Mungu amejibu kilio cha moyo wako. Amen. Because I'm seeing you crying, pray, praying, crying, praying. Maombi ya kilio. Ni kweli. And the Lord tell me to bless you. Amen. Alafu nataka ujaribu kuepuka hii mawazo ya it's like uh, hauna maana. I know you are going through rejection. Everywhere unajipata it's like watu hawashughuliki kuhusu maisha yako. This is rejection. Okay. Mm. So what you can do is ignore na ujiambie umebarikiwa. Amen. But toa hiyo mawazo kwa akili yako. My God will establish you from today. Amen. My God will bless you from today. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Your cry is answered. Your cry is answered. Kanda ya big amen. and you need to forgive unahitaji kusamea no matter the pain of what was done to you you need to forgive samee samee vile alivyokufanyia wacha kubeba hiyo uchungu itakuumiza moyo msamee na umwache Kwa majina naitwa Stella Maris Mutinda kutoka Saidi za Katani. Nimekuja hapa nikiwa na uzito sana wa moyo kwa sababu kutoka nijifungue mwezi wa ine, tarehe nane. Nimekuwa tu nikikimbia hospitali, kutoka hospitali, kulala hospitali. Nimekuwa tu mtu wa njia hata sijawahi furahia ile mama akijifungua venye huwa anakaa na, na mtoto wa furahie. Lakini venye ameniombea nasikia hiyo uzito imetoka kwa moyo nasikia pia uponyaji. Hapana ni shida yenye ilikuwa nayo ni hiyo ugonjwa imekaa ikinisumbua sana nimejaribu nimetembea hizi hospitali zote nime yaani sisaidiki na kunywa tu dawa nikimaliza dosi hiyo ugonjwa inarudi tena lakini kutoka nikuje hapa nimesikia at, nikiombewa huwa nasikia mwili yangu inaachiliana sana na hii ni mara yangu ya pili hapa na kufikia hapa nasikia nime Nasikia mwili yangu inaendelea vizuri juu kazi najifanyia sihitaji mtu yote kunifanyia kazi nyumbani. Nili nilienda nika venye niligonjeka nilienda hospitali nikaambiwa niende nipigwe picha inaitwa ECG nikarudi tena nikapigwa ingine inaitwa echo nikarudisha majibu daktari akaniambia kuna mshipa ya left ventricle ime expand wakaniambia hiyo itabidi wanitume kwa specialist cardiologist kwenda huko akanipea dawa alikuwa tu nikipewa dawa na kunywa nikimaliza dose narudiwa tena hiyo ugonjwa inakuja mpaka hata nime give up nikasema wacha niende ni, 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 niende maombi na kufikia hapo nasikia naendelea vizuri juu dawa zenye nilikuwa nazo ziliisha juzi na saizi nimekaa sijasikia hiyo shida ikinirudia kutoka mtumishi wa Mungu aniombe nilikuwa kazi yoyote kufua nini nilikuwa na msichana mpaka hata shida zilizidi mpaka nikashindwa kumlipa akaenda nyumbani sasa kazi yoyote ya nyumba mimi huwa najifanyia mimi ile kitu naezaambia watu ni kuingia tu kwa Mungu. Hakuna uponyaji iko kwa Mungu. Hakuna jibu ingine. Ni Mungu tu na maombi. Mama Jesus, mama kwa wapi? Nalikuki. Kwa nini unaota naye? Sijui hata mimi siku hizi naotanga naye ama mimi yangu. Ha? Sijui sielewi, lakini Because wa, watu waki in that way no no that that connection of the dead and the living is not is demonic jesus christ name come out you demon out you spirit come out come out now come out you are free toto mbaya zimeisha hauta hauta na wale waliokufa kuanzia leo you are free
kali za blolongo. Nimekuwa nimekuwa nikitoa ndoto na watu walio kufa nyanya yangu mamangu. It's like now three months. Three months. Eh ju na shinanga nimemwota kila saa kila. Okay. Inani affect ju sezi nini? Sezi fanya kitu okay na inakuwa stagnant mali pamoja. Ju kondo zingine utanga ninaenda shule tunakula na yeye. Na hii sasa iko ni relief na star ta tena juu ishaonekana mimi sikumwambia yeye mwenyewe ndaliniambia and it's true na utanga ukweli mamangu aliyeku This one is gone and a new direction. What's your name sister? Caroline Mutindi. Hmm? Caroline Mutindi. Kutoka wapi? Kwetu ni makweni. Weka mkono wa kifua. God's intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. And also unamwaminia Mungu financial stability. Financial stability. Okay? So zote Mungu atatenda in Jesus name. Amen. Nani anaitwa Jane? Msichana wangu first born. First born ako wapi? Alienda njana. Hmm? Alienda njana akisema uh, anaenda kupeleka CV town. Hmm. Sasa yuko. Ah ah. Where is she now? I don't know. Tangwa ende jana barudi. Ah jarudi. Are you not are you not uh, troubled by that? Au 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 sumbuli una hiyo. Inanisumbua tu lakini sasa kuna fenye naweza fanya. Juu alikuwa ende hmm. college. Baba yake ampeleke. Sasa hiyo ndio inamsumbua. Na kwa nini asikwambie mali yeye yuko? You know me, I can see far from where you are seeing. Hallelujah. Yes. Where are there are financial breakthrough? But God say we need to rescue Jen before I get wrong hands. Amen. Economy buyer. Okay. You know some decisions what one has make because of your depression, ama ile hali what one mepitia. Especially wakati ule unapitia changamoto eh, avoid sana kufanya decisions wakati kama ule because sasa hiyo ni, ni rahisi sana kufanya wrong decision that is what is happening to Jane daughter of this lady she is in a point of making a wrong decision simply because of the hard life ile wamepitia together with the mother hmm? and sometimes anakanga tu kwa nyumba amenyamaza peke yake eh ni ukweli kibonge una unamshtua it's going a lot a lot in her mind and God's intervention in the name of Jesus amen Jesus Christ be rescued and be located to your marriage in Jesus name you have Nangu naitwa Caroline Mutindi nimezaliwa Makueni kuoleka nilikuwa nimeoleka Lodla siku ya leo nimekuja mahali hapa ndio first time ya kuja hapa na nikaona mtumishi wa Mungu kweli anafanya kazi kwa yale mambo yote amenielezea kuhusu familia yangu na no. naona kila kitu itaenda itaenda sawa ni katika familia yangu nimesafa sana nimeoleka for 19 years nikiwa kwa ndoa lakini tuseme 7 years ndio tulikaa vizuri hii ingine tukawa tu tunasumbuana na ile kusumbuana tunasumbuana si kuelewa juu ni mambo ya kan, na kanisa mambo mingi sasa sasa ndio nikuja kutoka kwa hiyo ndoa nilitoka last year but one mwezi wa tano. walikuwa naleta watu wakisema ni waombaji walikuwa naleta usiku sasa wanakuja wanaomba mi wakiniamsha mi siambiwi na mtu kama kuna watu wanakuja naye mi si kwa na nashungulika mi naomba tu maombi yangu na watoto wangu na si tunalala wakikuja usiku wakiniamsha wananiambia tuombe mi nakataa 
Nikana tu wanakuja hivyo ni wanawake. Wakakuja hivyo nikaona hapa afadhali tu nitoke tu na watoto wangu. Sasa so, ikafika mahali nikaambia sister yangu anikujie. Wakakuja tukabeba vitu zangu nikakuja kuishi na yeye sasa. Lakini na... hata vile nilikaa hivyo mi niliamsha Musa nikamwambia uangalie saa nilikuwa kitu saa sita hiyo siku yenye nilimwambia amke kuna kitu nataka kumwambia nikamwambia uangalie saa kama huyu mtu amekuja kwa jina la Mungu kuomba ni sawa lakini kama amekuja juu ya pesa pia Mungu amuone amuone juu ya miharibu ndoa yangu sasa vile tulitoka hapo tukakaa kama wiki mbili huyo mama alikufa sasa mimi si kufuatilia tena mi nakaa tu na sister yangu na watoto wangu. Lakini hata hiyo kukaa sasa vile mtoto wangu amefanya form 4 ikawa ame lose hope juu baba yake ni wanapitana. Wa waongee vi amewasomesha shule mpaka form 4. Sasa yeah. hii ya mambo ya college ndio wamekuja sasa wakaanza wakiongeleteshana wanakuja wanapitana. Sasa mtoto naye ni kama ame lose hope anafanya tu fenye anataka, anataka kazi. Juu mi hata sina pesa kumpeleka college. Mimi hata mtumishi wa Mungu sijawahi muona nimemwona leo. Mimi nikitoka kwa nyumba niliambia Mungu juu kuna jirani yangu aliniambia last week ndio tulikuwa tukuje. Hata sijui nini lilinishika siku kuja. Sasa huyo mbanda jana ndiye akaniambia wacha tu jipange tukuje wapi? Akuje tukuje huko. Ah mimi nikamwambia ni sawa. Sasa si ndio sasa nikitoka kwa nyumba nikaambia Mungu wewe unajua ni nini natafuta. Nikienda pale Mungu niongoze kila kitu ikuwe ikuwe wazi na milango yangu ifunguke hata pesa nikipata nimefanya kazi mingi sana na biashara nini lakini pesa haikai kwa mkono yangu kila nikisave tu napata nimetumia yote mimi naamini kabisa milango yangu itaenda kufunguka hata venye nasikia kuanzia saa hii mimi chenye naweza waambia nawaambia wasitafute Mungu kwa njia zingine wamkimbilie Mungu mahali yako kanisani kuthuru watumishi wa Mungu hakuna mahali ngine Mungu anapatikana You're good. Yeah. So today I should pray for you to get job. Hata kando na mambo na kazi natafuta nilikuwa na natafuta passport lakini nimekaa tu nayo kwa nyumbani ile. Ngoja passport ni yako fanya nini? Nilikuwa nataka kwenda kazi ya nje. Na si passport nakupelea kwa kazi. Yeah but uh, I mm. tried mara ya kwanza mwenye nilikutana na yeye akani. You, you know wewe well, unatumia jia borefu mimi natumia shortcut. We unatafuta passport but passport inakuelekeza wapi kwa kazi yes, yeah. but na kuambia ni kuombea upate kazi so naruka ya passport because kuna njia nyingi sana mungu anaweza tumia passport ni moja kupigiwa simu ni moja kukujua kwa nyumba ni moja leta makaratasi faster faster eh? Every nisha ba every time mchukule hizo zimeanguka that is a scratch is so so let me as in una tafuta visa ama ni passport si passport ndio hii hmm? passport i have it here you need visa ya kwenda nje yeah to do what do you know what unataka kwenda kufanya first i prayed for job mm. yeah okay let me tell you what is going to happen eh? okay mungu atafunja desire moyo wako simama mungu atafunja you know kitu kimoja na mungu we love our god the moment una desire kitu na ni kizuri mungu hata kunyima hata kupea but anakupeanga wakati the, the best time imefika amen hebu simama the best time wakati best time imefika sawa so you 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 need first of all assignment yako ni kuingia kwa Mungu sana. Sasa uache mchezo ile ya wokofu. Ukue seriously connected with God. Prayer, reading the Bible and doing the word. Okay? Yeah. Now, ukitoka hapa there are some good good doors zitafunguka za kazi. Alright? And uh, because I'm seeing you with some other friends doing some things with computer whatever IT Huh? and uh, as you continue whether in this 
factory company or this farm, you will be needed to process your visa to travel. It's a process. Process number one, commit yourself to God. Okay? Process number two, there's, there's some door, Amazon in Afunguka, right from today, to give you money. And number three is your visa. I can assure you, for sure you will travel. But kabla uja travel, mungu anataka umujue zaidi. Tiyo hata ukienda kule, ukutana na pesa nyingi, ama pesa ndogo, ukue ukiwa na mungu, uko sawa. But nimekubariki ufanikiwe. In Jesus' name. Ciao. Talenti ile mungu amekupatia, tumia kanisani kumtumikia. Okay. Yeah. What do you think Mungu amekupatia kufanya? As in what talent? Talent you gonna I normally see, I normally sing. I used to sing in church, but you, you used yeah. to sing in church. Yeah. Why did you stop? I don't know. See you know now, now people yanza ku lose direction. But now go back to your church, Mali unandanga kanisa, and you commit yourself. Go and sing. Don't be paid to sing. Okay? Sing, sing, sing until when God takes you out of Kenya. So, now what I'm in India, Kenya, continue to sing for God. Yeah. And you can sing, and at the same time, you can help in computers. Yeah. You can sing, and you can do computers. Yeah. You can help them with the IT, whatever broadcasting things. You, you are good in that. Go and serve God. The Lord bless you. So, your doors are open in Jesus' name. jina naitwa gift mauza mudeni ni nimetokea tu lolongo ya nimekuja for the first time kufika hii kanisa so prophesize yangu ilikuwa ni mambo na job mambo na kazi ya nilikuwa nikitamani nikupata job poa hata mean the first time hata simjui simfahamu in my first time in Mekuja. Ni Mungu anifanyie breakthrough at least nipate breakthrough za finance na ni kwa sababu mambo yangu mengi ya kazi yenye nataka kufanya kila breakthrough nilikuwa naomba ni mambo na pesa but hiyo pesa ndio imekuwa tatizo kwangu na breakthrough za, za mambo yangu ya kazi. For now nimekuwa nikitafuta kazi I've been like one year sijakuwa na job but sasa nilipata kaki barua na shikilia shikilia so nilipata kaki barua na shikilia shikilia so for now kuna mahali na shikilia nikiendelea kutafuta my career job sasa na mimi kwa sababu iko ndani ya moyo wangu na ni matamani yangu na mimi ipo siku na very soon nikiomba Mungu na mimi yote itafanyika na kazi yangu itakuja na breakthrough itapa, itapatikana no need ya kujipea kama kijana haina need ujipatie pressure ujipatie stress uko depressed kwa sababu ya kazi but the best way ni kufind way kwa kwa Mungu kumfuata Mungu alafu mambo yote yatakuwa sawa mimi naweza sema tu ni asante kwa sababu si kwa nguvu zangu kufika mahali hapa kwa sababu hata leo nilikuwa ninge kibarua lakini nimeamua ku sacrifice siku ya leo si kwa uwezo wangu bali ni kwa neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu ndio maana niko Ah mama mama pia unaamini Mungu Ah Amen na tukirudi kule tulitoka. O alioa. Huko kuna mwenyewe. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, unafanya kazi gani? Mimi nafanya biashara. Business. Mm -hmm. But kwa sababu umeokoka nataka ufanye hii maneno kwa mwangaza, sawa? Because umeokoka. And uh, my advice reject kabisa wale watu utumwa wana shetani ambao wengine wako na nyumba zao reject mimi nimekuombea Mungu akusettle down 
Amen. Na kupatie bwana ambaye ana claim clean. Amina. Clean man. See dear. Ule amebarikiwa na Mungu. In Jesus name. Your prayers being answered. Amen. Thank you Lord. Sinduko ni mkaji wa Mlolongo natoka ukambani lakini naishi hapa Mlolongo nafanya biashara hapa. Okay nikikuja nilikuwa naombi la kuwa nimekuwa single mother for a long time na nilikuwa natamani ikawa ni moja ya maombi yangu kupata mume na wakati mtumishi ya maitano kasema kuna mtu anatarajiwa uh, kupata mume amekuwa kwa relationships lakini asikufaulu moja mbili tatu na ikiwa ni mtu aina hiyo ako hapo ambaye anahitaji kupata mume aamuke na ndio ndipo ndipo sasa nikaamuka sababu nilikuwa na mahitaji kama hayo okay eh, niki confess mbele ya Mungu mimi mbele nilikuwa naishi na mume wa wenyewe which was wrong then nikakuja nikaokoka nikakaa peke yangu kwa muda mrefu sasa nika mwaka ukianza ndio nipata resolution nikaambia Mungu hiyo mwaka mimi sitaweza kukaa na mtu tamani kukaa na mtu na natamani mume wangu alie wangu halisi nisiishi kwa dhambi tena na ndio imekuwa ombi langu ninaamini ya kwamba vile mtumishi amesema ameweza kusema nitapata mume ameweza kunihimiza ya kwamba niweze kupuuza wale watu wasio wa kweli kama vile nimekuwa nikikaa na wame ambao si wa wenye ambao si wangu niweze kupuuza watu kama hao ambao wataniweka kwa dhambi niweze ku kuifanya kama vile nimeokoka nifanye kitu kitakatifu. Yesu alipatia imizo ya kwamba wakae ndani ya Mungu na watafute Mungu na watarajie kutoka kwa Mungu na watapata ma majibu. I'm seeing you kuna document ambayo una sign naye ana sign na after ku sign kuna exchange ya pesa ha we ngoja peleka kamera mbali kwanza mpaka tupeleke hapo hawa watu wanapenda kuona vitu za watu hawa <laughs> haleluya Wednesday service plot number 1 nisa hiyo zitasema bwana huyu anakuja hapa uh, calculations eh uh, sitasema hiyo after that acha niseme hiyo niseme hii hii peke yake hii niseme after selling plot ta 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 thank you yes <laughs> god yeah Umeandika saa ngapi hiyo karatasi? Hiyo kitu. Hapo umeandika lini? When was that? When was the day you wrote it? Today. Today. Mm. Saa ngapi? After you ended. Ulinionyesha? Mm -mm. Aya. I'm seeing you signing a paper. Naye ana sign pati yake and after signing money is released yeah. what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve heaven and other do him la 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 what a mighty god we serve come on can you celebrate this god Josephine ama mama Dennis nimeokoka. Yesu ni bwana katika maisha yangu naishi mlolongo. Unaweza tuelezea mtumishi wa Mungu amekupatia prophecy gani? Eh during mass prayer nilikuwa tunaomba naomba nikasikia tu mtumishi wa Mungu amepitia amenishika. Sasa hiyo nikasikia sauti ya Mungu na especially saa zingine nikisikia sauti ya Mungu wana not down nisisahau. So mimi after kuomba sasa vile alipita tu nikachukua 
kitabu nikaandika cause kuna vitu nilinanawa okay kuna plot ninauza so nikasikia sauti ya Mungu ikinenenea hati nitapata customer mpaka ile pesa nita, nitapata nikaandika tu viewers all over the world as you can see we are waiting to see that piece of land that our mom is about to sell to the glory of god so just look at your screen look at your screen just to prove that she was trying to sell this piece of land Ama ujabarikiwa hapa mama. Imebarikiwa kabisa. Na kuanzia leo Mungu atakukumbuka. Amen. Nasikia sauti ya Mungu inasema nitakumbuka huyu mama. Amen. Unaamka usiku unaomba ilikuwa saa ngapi? Naamkaka saa ikini saa tisa na saa kumi na moja. Saa tisa unaomba mm. Mungu ameniambia atakukumbuka mama. Mm. Kilio chako cha watoto wako Mungu amekukumbuka. Amen. Kilio chako cha uhusiano wako na Mungu, Mungu amekukumbuka. Amen. Na mambo mengi Mungu amekukumbuka. Amen. So enda kwa nyumba leo ukisema Mungu amenikumbuka. Amen. Gaini yeye katia. Ni atirikana. Ni atirikana. Mm. Kama to we gai witu. Ni atirikana. Please <laughs> mungu mzuri. Let it be so in the mighty name of Jesus. biniko nimetoka hapa mloronko tu prophet ile kitu ameniambia mm -hmm. ameniambia mambo ya maombi ile ninaopanga akaniambia Mungu amesikia hiyo maombi na amesema atarudisha mimi ninaomba sana kwa sababu ya watoto na ninaomba ninataka tu Mungu asimame na mimi nikiokea hapo kwa majirani yangu nikinena neno yake ikuwa mwagasa Amen amen amen. Na labda umekuwa maybe unaomba maombi kivipi hebu tuelezee program yako ya kuomba. Unaombanga labda mara ngapi kwa siku? Ninaopaka hata mara tatu. Ninaopaka saa tisa mm -hmm. Na saa kumi na moja ninaamkanga tena kuomba. Na sometimes hata ninasema kasitarara nikarara hapa tu kwa mesa nikiomba. Nisi jiobe yangi. Mimi nikushukuru Mungu tu kwa sababu tu ameniweka uhai. Watoto wangu wako na shida sababu niko na watoto wawili haya wadogo wametoka kwa mabwana yao wakarudi hapa kwangu hiyo hiyo mmoja tuko na yeye na huyu mwingine ako nini ako utawara hiyo kitu ninasikianga vibaya sana kwa sababu haya watoto wameoleka wametolewa mali na wametoka kwa maboma yao ninaulishanga Mungu na mimi nilivumilia kukaa kwa boma ni nini inakujaga watoto wakaasa kufumilia. Hiyo kitu ninasikianga inaniumaga sana. Wanasema kawata hata kuulio huko ifo watu wana huo. Mm. Naamini tu Mungu atasimama na haya watoto kabisa. Hata wakikosa kurudi kwa wasee wao watakaa vizuri kwa sababu wako kasi wasomesa watoto Inlaws, inlaws ni kule ume, umeolewa. Inlaws ni kule umeelewa. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom is a key, sawa? Mungu akupe wisdom, there are some things ambazo we in the family, what what there. Uh, don't judge. Ask God for wisdom. Kuna kwingine unahitaji kufumilia. Let us go slowly praying, praying back at Mungu attend vile tunataka. So, ask for wisdom, shall be well with you. niombe sana penye nimeoleka ameniuliza umeoleka nikasema ndio penye umeoleka ama brother wa bwana yangu wako na midomo 
niombe sana kwa hiyo na kaanga nao lakini sasa wananitendea mabaya sasa mimi nafika mahali na nachoka sasa no. eh yani walifika mahali wakanitendea vibaya wakaniaras kanichapa mwingine akanichapa sasa brother bwana yangu sasa mimi nikaona vibaya tena hao wengine nikachoka na sawa akafika mahali tena akabada shida tena nataka mimi nikae nao niwasaidie niwafanyie kila kitu sasa mimi naona roho yangu ikakuwa ngumu msito lakini nikafika mahali nikaomba Mungu rehema yake ayanipe ili niwaangalie vizuri ni nikae dini vizuri na waangalie tu kama ni hiyo ni sawa eh niliwasamea hata mwingine nilikuja nikakaa hapa na yeye aka tukakaa na miezi mbili hivi miezi tatu kafanya kasi tena mwenyewe akatoroka nyumba ikachomeka na vitu na yaka tena akaenda nyumbani lakini huyo ndiye alikuwa anga na shida na mimi tena mimi sikuwa namtaka sikuwa na mo hadi sikuwa nataka ni muone hata nikutane na yeye nataka tu ni mdunga hata kisu lakini sasa nikafika mahali vile nilikuja hapa nikaona rangu iko When is your wedding? Who is Mwanzia? Mwanzia ni nani? Is my brother. Ha? Huh? Mwanzia is my brother. Your brother. Yeah. Ako wapi? Anish in Australia. Australia? Yeah. What is happening? Nini kinaendelea? I don't know. In Jesus name. Mwanzia What is your people saying about Mwanzia? Mm. Are they in, in good terms with my parents? So. Daniel Leweki. Andi nyumbani? Yeah, andi. Kwa nini? Wafleet amekuwa na are they in good contact with my dad? Dad. Yeah. Okay. Please tell me. There are I'm seeing stories of altars altars in the family can you tell us more about these altars because today tutaenda huko tutabomoa hizo altars na utakuwa very surprised kuona umekombolewa after tumevunja zile altars so tell us tell us what do you know about those altars okay about the altars kwa boma yetu hmm aso upande wa wasichana huwa awalewi second ndio tunaweza kuwa tunafanya kazi lakini hakuna mtu anaweza lilia mwanzake akamsaidia in a way as in ni kama tuko limited katika kazi zetu sister look here kuna mahali mna point hivyo mnasema pale it's like kuna vitu zimechimbiwa hapo it's like kuna kitu iliyeko hapo aida inaua watu ama inafanya watu wapigane talk to me about that because i know what i'm seeing okay kwa boma yetu tumekuwa na changamoto za maisha na atuchagua tukielewa aswani nini kinaendelea kwa boma yetu since tumekuwa na mvurugano kwa boma watu wasikizani atuelewi ni nini kinaendelea hata ujaribu kadio wazo wako ufaulu it's like you are limited mwanzia is your elder brother or your young brother younger young brother yeah because he is afraid ye yeah, yeye yeah, kuogopa na ogopa si kwamba atakai kwenda nyumbani but anaongopa association za watu wa familia asije in one or the other kuwa affected by this or that so ni uoga okay in real sense amekuwa since our mom aliaga tumekuwa na stepmother pale 
Sasa amekuwa akisema sana huyo mama ni kama amtaki mazuri. You know this Nanangu sister is trying to run away from deliverance. She is not telling me what I'm asking her. Sasa ndio ameanza kukaribia kile nilikuwa namwambia. Nimesema there is something you people are pointing out like this and you are saying that one will kill us. Okay, don't talk about mtu. Unaweza pitia tu hapo kidogo tueleze nini nimekuwa mkiogopa hapo in that family ambayo inawafukuza nje. Because nitakwambia truth ambayo wewe ujui ndio ufunguke macho from today. Mm -hmm. Okay, sis, kama watoto kwa hiyo bahoma. Atuko in good times with our dad since tukijaribu toketi na tuongee na yeye. Hakuna mtoto anataka kusikiza ato kuwa na shida gani hakuna mtu anaweza mlelea So where's the fikia your dad? What about the step mom? Uyo sasa ndiye. Was. Chanzo hii mambo yote. Maskeva mesema. Ndiye chanzo ya hii mambo yote. Okay chanzo ya mambo yote sio wewe. But wanasema the lady yako na nini? Si wewe. Wanasema huyu mama yako na nini? Even ndio watu wanasema. Yeye zake anatumia kutawajisha hiyo boma. Yeah. So, let me help you now from there. Because if we don't deliver this family, mwanzia hata wai onekana. Na wacha mwanzia kuonekana, hata nyinyi mtabaki kuwa single lady, single mothers. But my God has said no from today. Hmm? Umekuwa kiomba Mungu upate familia but now the problem is every man anakuja kwako ukichunguza unakuta huyu mtu wako na familia. Ni kweli. But I'm seeing your marriage any moment. Amen. From today. Thank you Jesus. Do you remember name Nicholas? Nick Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you demonic altars, break, scatter by the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Twende nyumbani. I pull down that stronghold of darkness. I break every demonic altar that is scattering people, altar skelter. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Be rescued from today. Be rescued from today. Entire family, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of cage. Out of cage. Out of cage. Out of prison. Be released from prison. Be released from prison. In the name of Jesus. I rescue your brothers. I rescue your sisters. I rescue you for your marriage. For your breakthrough. For your future. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be rescued. Be rescued. Oh Jesus. Thank you. Things are turning around here. I can see altars breaking, chains breaking in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to receive your destiny now. Receive what the enemy has stolen from you. I connect you to your family. I connect you to your future. In Jesus Christ's name, you are free. Now, from today, there's going to be a meeting. Meeting. Unawana hii mahali watu wameogopa kabisa kuingia. Any moment from today, kutakuwa na family meeting, kutakuwa na discussion. Now, this meeting ilikuwa ikuwe, but kama ingefanyika mbila hii maombi, kuna mtu wangefukuzo hile boma. That way niungesema. But now, after this prayer, hakuna mtu watafukuzwa, but there will be unity. Amen. Thank you. Na sauti ya shetani imekufa leo. Families will come together. Brothers and sisters will come together. Now we are to progress in life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beginning from you. Financial, financially we are released. Now your life has got a beginning from today. Amen. In Jesus' name you are free. Amen. 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 Okay, ya kwanza,
tunauliza mwanzia ni nani ambapo mwanzia ni bura zangu mdogo na yale amekuwa akipitia kwa maisha na kweli vile ameeleza ni kweli mtupu amekuwa na maisha yenye changamoto lakini nashukuru maana pindi Mungu ameweza kudhihirisha shida zake naamini yote itakuwa sawa kwake okay katika boma yake ako na mke na watoto hawajakuwa na amani na mke wake ila juzi aliweza kunipigia simu akaniambia wameweza kuongea na mke wake wamerudiana tena na kwa sasa hivi wanaendelea vizuri ya pili ameweza kunguzia kuhusu familia kwetu kwenye nimezaliwa kuhusu wasichana na ndoa na madhambao pale kwa boma na kwa vile ameongea na ameomba kuhusu hayo mambo yote ni kweli kumekuwa na changamoto kwa ndoa kwa wasichana okay kwa boma yetu hasa kwa familia yetu tuko wasichana wawili mkubwa aliolewa na akatoka kwa ndoa yake wa pili sasa ni mimi ambapo bado nimekuwa na changamoto nimekuwa nikitamani sana kuwa na boma yetu kusimamisha ndoa yangu lakini the moment nimepatana na watu tunazungumza mwisho inakuwa bado haijafaulu lakini naamini vile ameomba na naamini yote itakuwa salama na labda mmejaribu mara ngapi ku kuleta unity labda kukaa katika kikao tumejaribu Naiki. mara kadhaa kwa boma yetu manake kwa sasa hii imekuwa ni kama mara ya tano tukijaribu ikifail ezi inatuja kuwa na uhusiano mzuri na baba yetu Tuki, kila mara tukijaribu kuongea na yeye wakiwa okay, tunapendekeza sana kusuluhisha mambo na boma kama ni sehemu zingine aziende vizuri tukikila tukijaribu kumuongelesha kujaribu kutatua zile shida ziko pale apendi kabisa kusikiliza shida zetu ha, nimekuwa natamania sana kwa moyo wangu kutafuta boma kusimamisha boma yangu ofisi nimekuwa nikijaribu ikishindikana napatana na huyu mnaongea inafika mahali amsikizani lakini nashukuru Mungu maana sasa vile mtumishi wa Mungu ameongea itakuwa salama kwangu pia. Naamini ni salama Mungu atajidhihirisha. Na uridi asiyajidhihirisha sababu amespot ile shida imekuwa kwa ile boma. Wasichoke kumtumia eneo huyu Mungu, hakika kuna Mungu juu mbinguni. Anajibu maombi ya watu wake. Kwa hivyo nguzo muhimu ni kumtumia Mungu kwa kila njambo na yote unamwachia Mungu atajidhihirisha. Kuna Mungu anajibu fanya interview. Yeah. Wapi? Ha? Jumbo. 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 Yes. Hiyo ni kazi gani? Ni ya marketing tu. Wapi uko? Hapa chini wanatengeneza hii tanks za poa tanks. No, but I'm seeing okay, I will not I will not talk about hiyo umefanya around. There is this one ambao utapigiwa simu outside Mlolongo. So you need to go outside. Okay? But I want to warn you. This time no matter the far you will be called to go and work. Don't leave the city of Mlolongo. You know like the discussion we had I'm supposed to do the whole of Eastern. So they were suggesting I go to Machakos. And when you come to the servant of God, he tells you I don't move out of Mlolongo. You don't move out of Mlolongo. You know I know the reason why sorry, I'm not the reason why I'm telling you that. Man is man. God is God. Na Mungu anaweza ona what will benefit you more than what kile wewe unaona na macho yako. Amen. Be ready to go and work outside, go and work outside, but after you work outside, come back to Mulolongo. Amen. That is the message of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. Yeah. I know what it concerns, but leave that one to God. Amen.
So uh, you, you go and work, go and work. Wherever you go, go and work. Whether you spend two or three days, go and work. But after you work, this is your home. Amen. Amen. Jina naitwa Esther, nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana, ninaishi Mlolongo. Mtumishi wa Mungu ameniambia naona nikiitwa kazi mbali na hata kama nitaenda mbali nisijaribu kuama Mlolongo. This is my home. Eh, nikikuja hapa nilikuwa nimetoka nilikuwa na discussion na one of the directors kwa kampuni ni nataka kuenda, ameniita kazi na alikuwa ananiambia niende Kachakos sababu nitakuwa na ando list and region kaniambia i'm supposed to move to machakos ameniambia ni rudi friday mm -hmm. with a clear plan of what i'm supposed to do lakini vile mungu ameongea sioni niki move to machakos actually sidakuwa nikitafuta kazi ni naweza sema tu ni neema ya mungu because i'm working somewhere else Really. So nilikuwa nimekuwa live last week na this week. Mm -hmm. So nikiwa kwa nyumba mm -hmm. my brother akanikola kaniuliza kama nataka kazi and uh, nikamwambia eh so I akan connect na mse mm -hmm. wakati nilienda hata sikufanya interview. Huyo <laughs> mm -hmm. boss vile nilienda kwa bestake bestake akanipeleka kwa boss wao. Ile mm -hmm. boss alienda siku fanya interview aliniuliza hakuna kitu aliniuliza nza kama niko na experience ya marketing mimi nimefanya marketing nikamwambie akaniambia kuna two opportunities for me one was supposed to be in the office and the other field one but i chose kwenda kwa field wow 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 what a glorious god we serve ah uh, what made you toke ile kazi nyingine is it because of salary ama ni kuboeka niliboeka tu because nilikuwa tu na bo sana ngo na sikuwa na feel i'm doing what i'm supposed to do mm. Mm. was it still marketing ama ilikuwa ilikuwa nilikuwa nga marketing kitambo but tukachinjiwa supposed to move to the office but sikuwa na feel kama ni nataka yeah, my advice to young people just depend on god Mungu tu ndo anafunguanga milango and he can take you to a place you've never thought of being. Hii wiki kimbia kibia 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 kibia. Run 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 run. Amen. Recho, ati urikuwa umekufa. Ni kukufa ama ni kuzirai. Kuna hitu wa nini? Unconscious. I see. I see you. Ni kusirai. He? Kusirai. Na wakabereka wapi? Sijui nini ritende kati. Uri ya muka ukiwa wapi? Ok. Kuna wakati nilikuwa mwanje. Uko nyuma. He? Ndiyo. Ilikuwa ata... Nikitambo siyo jana. Eh, yeah, nikitambo. Yeah. Sasa ningesikia tarufu hiyo ya, ya ugali kinoka. Nikuwa nisikia ugali ya ugali. Ugali? Tarufu ya ugali. Eh. Yeah. Nikuwa nisikia kitu ina nishika tu hapa hivi. Na saa hiyo sasa nina... nina Razirai. Eh, yeah, nikuwa na kisongo songo pia. Kwa pereko hospital? Eh, yeah, nikuwa na pereko. Hmm. Yeah. Alisikia harufu ya ugali na nazirai. Si ugali ni chakula. But shetai anatumia hiyo. Now, I want to set you free from generational curses. And you will be free in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. That demonic bondage in your life. The voice of Satan. Seize in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. You ant of witchcraft. Bow your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Hautaba. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I separate you from sicknesses and disease. Demonic attacks. 
and I set you free. In Jesus Christ's name. Confirmation Billy. Ya kwanza Mhm. Uh, 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 kama ilikuwa ni wakati gani? Mhm. Niri nilisirai, nilikfaint. Uh, uh, kuna wakati uh, nilikuwa mgonjwa for so long. Karibu for years. Nilikuwa hata siwezi nikakula. Nilikuwa nikisikia hiyo harufu ya ugali ilikuwa ni na faint na pia nilikuwa na kisungu sungu mingi na ni mara mingi kweli nilikuwa ni me faint ni mara mingi kwa ajili ya ugonjwa ah nilichukuliwa nikapelekwa kwa hospitali siku tielewa hiyo mara ya kwanza ah but nilipopelekwa kwa hospitali nilikucha kuambiwa nilianguka kuna wakati mwingine wakati my mama ali ali pass mm -hmm. sasa nilikuwa kwa ni feel stimbaka sijui ni nini ilitendeka nikachipata kama ninafanywa first aid pia okay watu walikuwa wananielezea uh, kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa nimeanguka ninaanguka si kwa ninachielewa sasa walikuwa wananieleza wakati ilianguka chini au kuchi au kujijua yani mpaka labda fira nilifanywa first aid ama fira nilipelo kwa hospitali ndiyo nilikocha kupata kama ufahamu imerudi uh, pada ya mtumishu wa mungu kuongea ninaamini ya kwamba nimepona sita, sita piti ya ayo pia meongea juu ya um, generational cases ya magonjwa Ninaamini ya kwamba kuanzia sasa nimepona na nitakuwa sawa kabisa. Ya ime ime to affect sana. Ah uh, sana sana mimi hiyo mm -hmm. ugonjwa imenisumbua sana. Kila wakati inakuchanga rais tu hivyo lakini kutoka kwa mbili ninachukuanga muda. Mara mingi ninachuku eh, okay ninatumia pesa mingi hata ma hospitali na ninakumbuka kuna wakati nilikuwa ninatumia madawa mingi sana nilikuwa nina mesa 32 tablets per day na si kwa ninakula chochote hasa hiyo ilifanya mwili wangu imekuwa weak sana katika maisha yangu ninaamini ya kwamba nimepona na hiyo generational curse ya magonjwa imeisha kwa tena la Yesu ah Ninaweza kuambia wa, kwamba wasi, wasife moyo waendelee kumtumainia Mungu. Na wakati mtumishi wa Mungu anapoongea sio yeye anayo sio yeye anaongea. Yeye ni ni vessel ni too anatumiwa na Mungu. Ana ninawahimiza ya kwamba wakati wa wote mnapopitia shida yoyote ya magonjwa amini ya kwamba siku moja mtakuwa sawa na Mungu atatenda Nani anaitangwa Bosire? Bos, bosire ama Bosaya? Bosire ni nani? Shemeji yangu. Ah? Shemeji. Shemeji. Shemeji na maana watu wengi hatujui Kiswahili. Shemeji ni andi ya mani kazi na mani yango. Mani nini? Mali penye sista angu wa meoleo. Ha? Mali penye sista angu wa meoleo. Sista angu? Hmm. Andika chini. Confirmation ya pili. Uh, mtumishu wa mungu ame, ame niambia juu ya jina. Uh, posira. Uyo posira ni shemeji yangu ama iniro manyamewa dada yangu. Na ako hospitali kwa saizi, alikuwa mepata achali. Sasa fira mtumishu wa mungu wa meongea chua ya hiyo jina, mechua ya kuamba mungu wa me, me mtende. 
uh, ameoa sista yangu eh, kumekuwa na changamoto sana uh, kuna wakati walikuwa wameachana wakarudiana hiyo uh, hiyo ndio imekuwa na changamoto mingi sana naamini fira Mungu ameongea atatenda